It's almost hard to imagine a time when we didn't have cell phones in our pockets and access to a plethora of services and amenities at our fingertips. But with this access comes data, a lot of data. And it's almost no secret that our data is often on unsecured platforms and in many cases sold to third parties for marketing or their own form of data harvesting. This also exposes us to data breaches of very private, secure information. Right now, with having social media and being in the digital age for a very short period of time, is that there is ownership issues with data. So you may be using a platform and be either accessing all the data or creating content, and you're doing that for free. And you have these companies that are taking that data and really monetizing off of it, when in reality, that is just part of having a t-shirt or a part of your property, that digital footprint belongs to the individual. A lot of new technology companies which gather a lot of customer data are startups and they're bootstrapping their operations, which means they're trying to do a lot with not that many resources. And when that happens, these young companies, which you and I use every day, don't necessarily have the know-how to protect your privacy, whether it's from external threats or even from internal threats. Usually as a company gets more mature, they begin to put in practices which prevent the leaking or hacking of data. But you'd be very surprised at how many companies we use that don't have those internal safeguards. The rising demand for security and privacy has paved the way for a new hero to step in, blockchain technology. Blockchain is essentially a distributed database that is distributed all over the world. So you have a lot of different nodes that all retain a copy of exactly what that database is. And then there's certain rules for how you can add more information to the database. So there's a few important characteristics here. So one is information that goes onto the database, onto the blockchain is what we call immutable, which means that it doesn't change. So it's there, it's a permanent record for all of history. Now there's good and bad with that. So on the good side, it's nice to have permanent records, right? So businesses, government institutions, other organizations might want to have a permanent record of everything that's happened, but at the same time, it's all completely visible to anyone in the world. So this is sort of a misnomer where it's really not about going dark on a blockchain, it's actually everything is being completely transparent. So this is where we've segmented in the industry to other privacy technologies. So layer into the blockchain, certain privacy preserving technologies like zero knowledge cryptography to keep individual records private, which is important for so many different applications. For businesses to actually use cryptocurrencies, they have to have privacy. Imagine if every employee found out what every other employee was paid, or all your competitors saw who you were buying stuff from or selling stuff to. It's a non-starter in business. You have to have privacy. The technology is shifting from having everything visible on the blockchain to having only some things visible on the blockchain. And this is done through a cryptographic technology known as zero-knowledge proofs. They're working their way into the mainstream, and you're going to see them more and more. This is important all over the world because in many parts of the world, the trusted third party actually is not an honest broker of trust. It's difficult to get a bank account, for example, or there's countries where the criminal elements are very strong. And if you get a remittance payment, for example, then they know that you're getting those payments. You can get shaken down for them. By having the power of payments and maintaining money in a trusted third party like a blockchain or a cryptocurrency removes the potential interference of the criminal organizations. By rethinking our approach to data, we put the power back in our hands and the opportunities for privacy are boundless. Introducing Horizon a global platform with the latest privacy technology and self-sustaining funding model with protocol-level solutions. Horizon is public, private, and anonymous. At Horizon, we believe that privacy is a fundamental human right that everybody should have, regardless of race, origin, or color. We think that privacy is going to be used for good, and we think that privacy is the key to freedom of thought, freedom of speech, and the freedom to congregate, which is the fundamental building blocks of a democracy. It's a critical differentiator within our technology is that we have the option for privacy. So you can have the open transactions like you have in Bitcoin. In Bitcoin, 
anybody can analyze your data, so it's really not private. With Horizon, you can have that option for privacy. So if, say if you want to report your IRS income, then you can choose to make it public to a specific individual, a specific agency. It doesn't have to be wide open and distributed to everybody. Research and development is a major aspect of developing this technology. So we have current engineering solutions for real world problems today, but then we also have to look at tomorrow's problems. And to tackle tomorrow's problems is where we engage companies like Input Output Hong Kong or IOHK, which is a leading R&D firm within the industry. So we're working with them on a few different engagements. We're looking at creating a liquid democracy on-chain voting system, which is game theoretic and kind of novel, first time in the industry. We're also looking at going beyond blockchain, where we start generalizing the technology to make it more massively scalable, things like directed acyclic graphs or DAG technologies. The distributed blockchain technology it may sound complex with its cryptographic elements and servers all over the world and wallet applications, but you don't have to know how a car works to get into a car and drive it. You just know you can get in, press the pedal steer, follow the rules of the road, and you're off and running. The cryptocurrencies are very similar to that. Sure, they're a little hard to use now, but over time, they'll become much easier for everybody. Horizon, the secure and private platform for money, messages, and media. To learn more, visit us online at horizon.global.